everyone, it's Amy from Save Me Sweet Life and we are doing a plan with me today. Now, full disclosure, I am going to be on hiatus the next couple of weeks. I will have all of my videos pre-scheduled, but I am taking two weeks off just to give myself kind of like a, a brain break, a reset before school starts. So I will come back once school actually has started and be back to making videos more in real time. But today is just gonna be a sit down plan with me and because I'm going on hiatus, I will not have an August planner stack or an August goals videos pop up the beginning of August. I just kind of ran out of time. I was really trying to commit to today being my last filming day. So yeah, those videos are not going to pop up on time. They will be like more like mid-August videos when I actually get those filmed. But I wanted to go over my plan with me today. I already went ahead and did my reflections and weekly stuff and I want to walk through it. So. First up, I want to talk sticker sneeze planner. I have committed to trying something and right now um, it's really bizarre. So first I have the Sterling Ink Common Planner. I haven't actually been using the journaling in the back, but I have been setting up these pages. Like I didn't do the first page and then I went in through last week and worked on quite a bit of this over the week. Some days I didn't do a whole lot, but then other days I really filled them out. So I am now into I'm halfway through this week here and I did something a little different this time. I did a little bit of journaling along the way so you can read that and pause that if you want. I thought I'd do like highlights of the week down this column but I haven't done any of that yet. This is the undated planner. You can see it is undated so I really feel like it's almost like unfinished. I don't mind putting my own date headers but I just don't like that like the future weeks just look so unfinished. It just doesn't feel finished to me so it just doesn't sing to my heart like a full on dated planner does. There's just something about undated planners that I just don't like, even though I don't mind like picking and choosing when I start. I just don't like that it has this like unfinished quality to it. But so far I've really loved the bigger size of this. I love that the 1.3 Hobonichi Cousin style stickers fit really nice in these. And I put these work ones just to use them up. Actually, this one's wrong. I was doing Tuesday, Thursday. I don't know why I put it on Friday, but um, these are my days where Stella is in preschool. So I said work as in like I'm getting stuff done for this channel but these are just stickers I had to use so I was trying to make the most of them. I think I really like this combination of like little little snippets here and there, the stickers cuteness here and there and then also these like longer blurb writing journaling sections. I've really enjoyed using it in that capacity so far and um, yeah this was lots of just little blurbs here and there but um, so far so good and I have these blanks. I'm trying to just embrace some of these blanks here and there. And then this is today. I haven't done anything on today's column yet, but I really like the way it looks with a little bit more writing done in there. So, so far I've really enjoyed this. I do not like having a plastic cover on it. I don't like the feel of it, but I love being able to stick something with it. So I have this card and it does slide around. I don't know if I need to like glue it in there or something. I don't want to mess up the front cover or this plastic cover, but I don't like the way this feels. It's just like very non-slip feeling and I don't like it. I love having a little decoration in there. So I'm trying to get used to having the cover on there. Now, as far as journaling goes, I did set up the front of this, which I'm not gonna show actual written on pages. Let's see if I can find one. Like here's some at the end of the month. I did end up setting this up with my Hubbin and Chuck Girl stickers and some washi tape. So I've been using this for journaling, not so much this one for journaling yet, but I plan on um, for August using more of just the Sterling Ink Common Planner. So that's how I broke down my sticker sneeze planner. So I actually started doing a little bit of sticker sneezing, sticker sneezing in this one. This is a look at this week so far and I ended up putting in a little bit. I had this idea last week to stick in some like sticker sneezy type of stuff. So I started doing that in last week. See here, try sticker sneeze in hourly EC because I was having so much blank space around our activities and schedule stuff that I went ahead and stuck in some like bigger things. And I like the way it looks. I like how it feels more completed. Whereas like previous weeks, it looks a little bit blank because I'm not including all of those other smaller things in. I'm just including like the main main driving things basically. Anything I have to drive to is included and then everything else is kind of left blank. And I do like the white space, but I feel like I wasn't getting the most use out of it. So I'm thinking like future planning, I'm thinking more along the lines of the future. So I started really sticker sneezing a lot here and carrying it over. And now I feel like it kind of looks a little bit busy. So I'm trying to find that happy medium between making it look too overcrowded and too busy and too blank like this. If I just leave it like this, we 
have nothing planned on Saturday, we'll go to the movies or something. I think I'm taking them to the movies on this day, but I haven't set it in stone yet. We haven't bought tickets or anything, but if I just leave it like this, it's very blank looking. So I wanna find some happy medium between sticker throw up and blank. So I'm still trying to find the balance of that. And I like the idea of having this one alongside of it, but at the same time, like some of this is duplicated stuff. Like this is the same week the same day. So some of it's going to be duplicated a little bit. And I don't know if I like necessarily duplicating stuff on both. Like I'm talking about cinnamon rolls here. Um, I'm talking about cinnamon rolls here. Like that's duplicated. My coffees are duplicated. So I'm using two coffee stickers instead of one. So I'm trying to find like which one I like certain things in better. Um, so far, I'm just kind of up in the air duplicating some, not duplicating other things. But for now, that's the, the challenge I have, is trying to find the happy medium between these two planners as far as what I'm going to do with each of them. Because right now I'm duplicating a little bit. I did end up franken planning this, which I have loved. I've got my uh, daily pages in here. And I thought one thing I could do with these daily pages instead of time blocking, since now my time block is right there, I could do some journaling on these. And I wouldn't necessarily show them to you guys, but I'm using this as like my little to-do listing. I did a little bit of time blocking on some of these, but then other ones I've left completely blank. Then I went ahead and did my weekly reflection here. Never used the dashboard page for the beginning of July. And then my weekly actions page is back here just because of how these weeks fell. Um, this weekly reflection is the end of the month and I'm saving this for this next weekend to fill this one out. So I ended up using just a blank page up in the beginning. This is my monthly goals page and it had that blank sheet on the back. So I did my reflection up there, my weekly goals here and I um, ended up having, I talked about this a ton in my pillow chat recently. I ended up having antibiotic resistant strep. So I did a course of antibiotics, still had strep, didn't realize it. And that was what was causing all of my other issues I had. So I went back to the doctor with other issues and she's like, yeah, you still have strep. <laughs> You're antibiotic resistant. So I ended up having to get really major antibiotics. I talked about a ton of this in my pillow chat video, but this week is all about rest and recovery because I am just getting my butt kicked with these antibiotics. And I also have thrush. So I'm also on medicine for that that causes some side effects. And yeah, so this is just me really concentrating on probiotics and prebiotics and making sure my diet is the best gut health diet I can have right now and resting. Yeah, so no working out whatsoever has been going on because I've been having so much symptom problems with that and still not feeling great yet. I've mapped this out. There's a couple of little reorganization projects I want to work on. And then I got a set of the greeting farm stamps. I want to do some copic coloring. That's been fun. So this has been very light. And then um, here, schedule ahead for hiatus the next two weeks. You're not going to see plan with me's because I'm going to be on hiatus. I will still be planning in the background, but I won't be filming things the next two weeks. It's just like a filming blackout, really. <laughs> so there is what that looks like. And then I'll do this monthly reflection. And then these are more daily pages. So I have the daily pages in between these weekly pages. And then I move into August. So I really enjoyed having this Franken planner set up. It's basically the wildflowers, everything in the beautiful coil. And it's my daily, my weekly, and also my goal setting stuff in here. So this is like my whole entire stack. Basically, this is my August stack that I'm starting with. And now for this video, I want to really quick try to move my stickers into here. So I have this ring agenda from Erin Condren and then I have this giant bucket of stickers and stuff. So I ended up reorganizing these three stickers. Like all my loose stickers pretty much are in here. And I like this little system, but I don't know if I can like stick these in here with all of my kits. So I've got all these kits in the page protectors and these actually fit in A5 ring style notebooks. But then I have like other loose things and other things that I don't necessarily need with me, but I'm gonna try to see how much I can fit in this because I would like to just have it in a notebook versus all of this in the bucket. I still have like a crochet needle in this bucket. <laughs> it's like so random. Okay, so first things first, I gotta take out all of the uh, fluff, all of these ring pages. And these are daily duo pages from a while back. Does it say what year this is? Yeah, 2022. So a little bit older and some randomness in the very back of this. So taking all those out, I didn't really use this ring agenda all that much. But I love it. It's the flora pattern, which is gorgeous. And so maybe I will leave this in. I have to see what else I want to tuck in there. There's also a pocket here I can tuck things. Little pockets up front. 
a pocket right here. Um, then I don't know what I would stick in this thing. I don't think my ruler is going to fit there. Nope. Look, there's another magnet. Two magnets stuck in the bottom of that bucket. It just gets kind of unruly in that bucket. Let's see, <gasps> look, my little tiny ruler will fit there. That's good. And then I have these that didn't fit on the little um, ring bound books. Okay, hoping I can stick them in the little pocket. Oh, you know what? Two of them fit and one of them does not fit. What did you up there? No, okay, that one doesn't fit, unfortunately. I like that one. So still to be determined about that one. And then all of these can go in. I want my first one to be the current monthly kit. And then the rest of these, and that's a vellum packet, so that one's not gonna fit. That was just like a, a mini kit. And then that one actually is gonna be next because I've been using the mermaid stuff too. And these are all older kits. I bought like lots of pages in some of these collections. Let's stick all those together. I love this Parisian cafe kit. So I have two pockets full of that stuff. And then this is the pink stationery kit, which is super cute as well. I need to use that some weeks. And then all the mermaids and summary type of stuff is in that one. And then the current kit is in that one. Let's see if I have more page protectors in here. I don't know that I do. I feel like I could buy just regular page protectors off Amazon to fit in this A5 ring. I don't have any more hiding away. No, oh, okay. I don't have any more. These are all the kits that I've gotten ones with. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I've been part of their kit for six months because I have six of these. So I feel like this is cute how I have it all done. I don't want this. I'm thinking I can tuck this one in here, this, and I don't necessarily use all of these all of the time. So I can take some of these out, like these ones I want to keep in, and these cutesy ones. I haven't been using the stencil very much, so I'm going to take it out, and then Libby made this. <laughs> I am sorry how bad your day has went. I love you. Love Libby. So I was having a really rough day with Stella, like total three major day. And uh, Libby made me that, which is super cute. So actually I do want to keep that in there. And then these are seasonal surprise box stickers, which actually look very summery. So I do need to use those. And then some of these sheets I'm working on using. I am getting one of those repositionable sticker books in my next Hubman and Chuck Girl kit. So I will end up moving some of these type of things into those. These are all various random sheets that I don't need in here right at the moment. Like some of these are even winter, winter themed ones I really don't need right at the moment. Like this is the hottest part of the year here in Texas. We don't need any winter themed things. Like that's super cute. I have some other stickers I can use with that. And then these are like miscellaneous ones I saved. Super cute. Don't need any of these right now. I love that Valentine's E collection. Just don't need any of these right now. And then I kept some sheets because that way I have more repositional full sticker paper. I don't need, yeah, these are like winter themed ones. I don't need those yet, winter themed thing. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick these few down in here for now. And what else? I have one sticker book that I have been liking using, this Bloom sticker book. All right, I'm sticking all these back in like my main, main sticker drawer here. So will that fit as well? I think so. Okay, so that's what this looks like. I do have some repositionable repositionable stickers in this teeny tiny book. Let's see, will that fit up front? Maybe. Oh, you know what? There are actual pockets on all of this little thing, which is cute. I'm trying to see if it'll fit in here with my other like tiny stickers. It does fit, it's kind of a tight squeeze. So I'm not sure about that as far as logistics of keeping it that way. That fits, and then these ones, I was hoping I could just maybe tuck in here. Might have to combine forces. Like put these all in the same book. Because that way there's not three sets of rings. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to close it like that. <gasps> I think I think I can. Okay, will they fall out? No, they're pretty snug in there. So I was thinking this is way prettier, and more organized than that big bucket and then it can't become a catch-all. Like right now, that's just a total catch-all with all of that stuff. So stick this ruler in here as well. And now all of my sticker stuff is combined in here. I can just open the flap and pull out what I need. And I don't know about having these on the loop 
for now, I think that's great because I just, you know, grab a chunk at a time and then flip through whatever chunk I'm flipping through. And then like these ones, it's nice to have them all organized. I have my ruler at my disposal. I think I do want to combine these at some point because three is kind of annoying. Let's see, can I close it? That's the question. Yes, I can still close it. All my stickers are nice and combined. It is really heavy. Like this big giant brick of stickers is pretty heavy, but it looks good. And so I have this. I've got this that's overwhelming right now because I did end up pulling out all the purple things, which I don't actually need anymore. Let's see, I've got a couple of different journaling pens. Like I have two of these in here. I don't need two. One inner gel, Klenna, and one S gel pen. My white out. And let's see what I've got in here. These are like my color coding ones. I do need them. And how many pins do I have? Yeah, I have a bright pink that I have not been using and a, I'll keep one like colorful one so that inner gel can stay and the rest can stay. And I've got washi tape in here that I haven't even used. I don't know why that's in there. I was able to pull out four pins. So that's a little bit thinner. And then these can go with the other stack. So there, there's my like stack of stuff. I'm trying to reorganize a little bit so that I can set this on the built-ins and then it's not on the kitchen island. We're getting to where like we want zero anything on the kitchen island and just make it look nice and sleek. Uh, and then this can sit on that built-in in the living room. Yeah, that's much better. That looks way better than that giant bucket of stuff. It's like more contained. I was able to pull out various stuff that I really don't need to be carrying around all the time, but. Yeah, this looks kind of intense, <laughs> this big giant stack of stuff, um, but it works. So there you go. There is my plan with me for this week. There wasn't actually any actual planning on camera, but I showed you what I was doing and showed you guys my cool little like sticker pack and I can use the flora again. I just love, love the look of this, especially with the pink. I love everything about the flora. These peonies are just gorgeous. I just love it. So it matches with my wildflowers goodness right here and see like how that sticks to it it's just so plasticky I don't know I don't like the cover that much I'm trying it out though those two look really good together anyway I hope you guys are well happy planning be sure to like subscribe follow me along I've got coupon codes for various planner goodness that I've mentioned throughout this video so check the description box for that and I will be having the sticker um, video coming up soon where I made these little disc bound books I will have that up for you guys very soon I think that's it for now have a great day and I'll catch you next time Bye.